Hello, I'm Cameron Delaney. I'm the Site Services Manager here at Summerland House Farm uh, at House With No Steps. We're on the mid-north coast, right here in Austinville. We create employment for people with disabilities. We're a fully functioning farm uh, with avocados and macadamias and the tourists love to come out and see exactly what we provide. We, uh, we bus in 90 people with disabilities each day uh, on site and uh, they work across uh, seven of our um, businesses here on site. We uh, currently have uh, 1,500 avocado trees and in the new future, or at the moment, we're expanding to another 6,000 avocado trees to create more employment for people with disabilities. So with our avocado farm here on site, uh, an opportunity came up to buy the property next door and uh, with the purchasing of the property, we just wanted to make sure we were doing everything um, by the books, you know, and uh, not um, hurting any of the, the rainforest. We had some earthworks to do and, and some roads to put in and a lot of avocado trees to put in. So, you know, we just wanted to, to make sure we did it, you know, by the book. Summerland House Farm got in touch with me. They wished to expand their uh, avocado orchard. They said they had some remnant rainforest trees in the paddock and they weren't sure of their identifications. I came out and walked uh, the paddock with uh, Cameron, the uh, property manager, and uh, we identified the rainforest trees and we came across a rare rosewood mistletoe plant. Under the Land Management Code, uh, Summerland House Farm had to submit a notification for the removal of some paddock trees, but not including the rosewood trees and the rosewood mistletoe. So they're being protected and other trees are being removed under the notification process. Well, rosewood mistletoe is uh, Emiema placatula and it's only found growing on uh, rosewood trees. Rosewood is a big rainforest uh, tree and this mistletoe uh, grows on that tree. It's the only host plant for the rosewood mistletoe. Um, it's a very rare uh, plant. It's listed both uh, federally and at the state level as a threatened species and it's only found in two or three other locations and here at Summerland House uh, there's quite a substantial uh, significant size population of rosewood mistletoe. We went over the orchard plan and uh, with some minor modifications to the layout of the orchard we were able to avoid the rosewood trees and the mistletoe growing on them and uh, that was in keeping with the uh, production and the amount of trees they wished to establish. So it was a really win-win situation both for uh, biodiversity, the environment and the production here at House of Steps. It was quite, uh, quite exciting at the time to think that uh, we have this, this rare mistletoe on, on the rosewood tree uh, on our property, you know, to, uh, to find that was, uh, was, you know, outstanding. After we were uh, made aware of the, the rare uh, mistletoe, we had to change our plans, you know, to, to keep these guys safe. So we changed our roads and, uh, and a bit of the farming where the avocados were going to be planted just to keep them safe. Finding out about these species, it opens doors to have uh, an educational program to come through and have uh, tourist uh, bushwalks in the future um, to, to show the people and the community uh, just exactly what we have here on site. Uh, remnant rainforest trees out in the paddock do suffer from exposure. And so by establishing an orchard or windbreak trees uh, around remnant trees, it helps protect them from the elements. And uh, we're expecting the rosewood trees here to flourish as well as the mistletoe on the rosewood trees. If you get in contact with local land services, they're more than happy to come out, um, walk across your property, you might find some little gems, you never know, like we did, and, uh, and they're there to help. They're, they're a really good help. There's a really exciting outcome here uh, by using the Land Management Code. What we have is a great outcome, a great balance between biodiversity outcomes and protecting the threatened species and the production outcome here at Summerland House Farm. It's important for landowners to uh, get in touch with sustainable land management and um, discuss their uh, proposals uh, with us and uh, invite us out to uh, inspect their properties and discuss uh, options. You know, uh, we, we want to be flexible and help support production as well as get uh, biodiversity and conservation outcomes. <laughs>